they are thinking of moving to Austria? We get it! There is a reason why Vienna has been named the most livable city. But what are the things you need to know once you decided to move to this wonderful country? In this week's video, my wonderful friend Nessie, a relocation and immigration expert, is going to answer your most pressing questions around immigration, like visa, registration and finding a job so you can prepare for a move to Austria. So before we jump straight in, make sure you subscribe because I do new videos every Tuesday around creating a life abroad. And we do have a very special bonus this week, so make sure you are going to watch till the end. So Nessie, my first question. How is it with immigration? Probably the hardest part. Can anyone move to Austria? Well, maybe not anyone. But there are some requirements. Austrians are always looking for people who are qualified. Yeah. So if you have special qualifications, if you have a job that is quite rare in Austria or that we don't have enough people to do that job, chances are quite good that you uh, can get uh, some permit to come to Austria. But you should also like take a look at maybe some other requirements for example your criminal record should be clear <laughs> <laughs> and as I as mentioned we want qualified people people with experience uh, so there are certain ways like the red white red card uh, that can help you with that before you're thinking about searching for a job or something uh, check the scores so there are certain um, scores that you have to achieve uh, if you do so um, you can plan the next steps okay so how can I then apply for a visa? Well, you can either apply uh, in your home country at the Austrian Embassy or uh, if you are allowed to visa-free entry to Austria, you can apply at the Austrian authorities here. A good option for uh, highly qualified people is, for example, the job seeker mm -hmm. visa. Uh, you can come to Austria for six months and search a job here. So, um, If you have the money to do that. <laughs> yeah, if you have enough money to, to yeah. do that. Yeah. So there are various options um, depending on your special situation. How about looking for a job? Is it uh, a requirement for even moving to, to Austria? And how hard is it to, to find a job yeah. in here? For most of the permits, you will need a job offer so that you can even apply for, for the permit. It is quite hard, I think, because a lot of people will only speak English. They won't speak German. So mm -hmm. when searching for jobs, a lot of job offers are in German. Therefore, a lot of companies in Austria are still like traditional, have German as their company language. Yeah. Um, so it will not be easy, but there are international companies here. There are international organizations here. Um, they have uh, job offers for English speaking people. You just have to find them. What are some other requirements if you're you know, wanting to move in here? Is there anything that you need to be aware of before you apply for a visa? Something that a lot of people are not aware of is that the Austrian authorities ask for a confirmation on an apartment. Mm -hmm. Like you've never been to Austria, you're just applying for the permit and they already want you to confirm that you will have an apartment in Austria. That's crazy. So it's totally crazy. It's very hard for a lot of people to deal with that. You have to find a solution. Like maybe there is a landlord that will uh, make a preliminary contract with you um, and that is only valid after you receive your permit or something. So you have to find some kind of solution. So this is definitely one thing that is maybe quite unique for Austria. Yeah, okay. So what are, will be the steps? So like looking like the first step is mm -hmm. doing that and that. What will be the like, you know, the step by step process mm -hmm. that you can recommend to, to people? You should start with um, some information on the immigration process. Yeah. So before you do the do job search, you should be aware if you um, are even like qualified, do you have the yeah. experience, do you have any special uh, knowledge to fulfill this course, to, to get enough points for uh, some kind of permit. And then start searching for a job. I mean, uh, you need a job offer for most of the applications. So um, when you like apply for jobs, you can let your uh, like future employer also know, yeah, I've, I know uh, how the immigration process is, I've got the information, I know that I fulfill the requirements, so you can already let them know that it will be uh, easier for them. And uh, then you have to uh, search for an apartment. Either you really search uh, yourself um, or maybe the company can help you. Yeah. So maybe they have some company apartments where they can get you a, a contract, a rental contract or a confirmation. Yeah. 
So I think like these are the, the three main steps. And then you apply for a visa. And that will be the last apply. of that will be the yeah. last of Faith Queen. And, and since we don't want you to struggle, we also wrote down a very simple guide that outlines the steps that Nessie mentioned right now, but a bit more detailed. So definitely check it out. We will put the link into this description. So thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you next week on Boundaryless. Bye. And are there any other things you wanna let our audience know? before we say bye. Well, and Austria subscribe. is a beautiful country. <laughs> so we're happy being here, uh, but um, yeah, good luck. Good luck. No, I don't know. What should I say at the end?